international youth experiences that are part of Erasmus Plus or European Solidarity Corps should be accessible for all young people. So it is crucial that we make our project inclusive. Some young people across Europe are disadvantaged compared to their peers because they face exclusion or obstacles due to economic or educational barriers, because they live in rural areas, have a disability, a migrant background, or for another reason. These youngsters are identified as young people with fewer opportunities in the European programmes for youth. ID Travels takes us on a journey across Europe to explore how to include these young people in all of the phases of our projects or programmes. Let's hear how some organisations approach inclusion in their contexts. Yeah, inclusion is really a kind of vision that um, everyone can take part equally in our programmes. And it's also a human right um, that everyone can take part equally. And that it's not so much about that um, the individual has to adapt, but we as the system, the society, the structure of organization has to adapt to be inclusive. It is, it is society that is, is unwelcoming no? and is violent towards these different identities that we possess, that we, that we share or we want to share of ourselves. And I think that uh, especially in the case of disability, which was the first part of identities that I was, I was working with in the field of inclusion, it was really important for me to, to learn and to understand that it's really not about preparing the people, it's about transforming the society, you know, and we would go into universities with young people with disabilities and they would be the ones that are, are teaching the volunteers really what, what I need, what I expect, what I want out of people that are, are volunteering with me. I'm a person and I, and I know uh, how to project my life. So basically we approach inclusion as the right of everybody to be able to participate in their community and to decide about their future. So it doesn't matter if you are from rural, rural area, if you are from an ethnic minority or a sexual minority, but it's about having all the tools and the competencies and the context to be able you know, to change the community you are part of. So basically when we are thinking about rural youth, there should be an intersectional approach because Okay, we have the geographical barriers, you know, the lack of opportunities in rural areas and the lack of transportation. But then the young people with fewer opportunities, you know, from, from rural areas are also dealing with financial barriers. They are also part of ethnic minorities. They are also part of, you know, sexual minorities and so on. Here are easy first steps you can take to assess your projects and make sure they become more inclusive for young people with fewer opportunities. Start by asking, who are the young people we never see among our participants? Look at your local demographics as a starting point. Think about different religious groups, people with different abilities, gender identities and sexual orientations, etc. Try to find out why these young people are not taking part in your programmes. Is it because they don't have information about your programmes? Is it because they don't feel welcome? Is it because they believe the conditions for them to enjoy their experience are not met? Make sure that everyone in your organisation is on board to commit to inclusion by setting attainable goals. Finally, look for resources to support you. Besides the ID travel video series that are full of great tips for all project steps, look for the Salto Inclusion and Diversity Resource Centre publication, Inclusion A to Z, which is available in several languages. It can be used as a compass to find your ways on this journey towards inclusion. For more tips, check the description. Do you need additional guidance? Contact your national agency 